today I'm going to be showing a new feature that we added called dynamic shapes. And really what this is, is dynamic images. In some cases, we may want to be able to, to change an, uh, an image uh, dynamically, maybe on a report when you're switching context between you know, uh, maybe different companies or, or, or something like that. In Excel, this is, is pretty straightforward to get, to get set up. Um, we essentially first, you know, we want to make a list of the images that we want to essentially be switching between. And in this case, I'm going to be, be doing uh, an Excel method called index, another called match to make use of this, this list that I've created. And the way this works is uh, we have a named range and this named range is going to essentially, based on the value of um, a given cell, is going to look sorry uh, look up that cell um, in in the given list and return the index of that that item and subsequently be able to return the item associated with that uh, or in that position in that list. So the way this works is now we have this validation list. We can switch the value of that validation list and it's going to switch the image. So this is a, a dynamic image essentially that we've created on this sheet. So this was just added to TM1 Web, uh, will be available in 209. You can see the same sheet here uh, in TM1 Web. Switch over to this tab, and again, we have the validation list. As you can see, it works really quick. And this can be done either with, uh, as I mentioned, the index and match methods uh, in, in a, a list set up like this. It can also be done using a um, indirect method to essentially get the cell based on uh, a reference as, as text from a cell. So yeah, uh, very, very short, but that's about the gist of it. Dynamic shapes in T1 web available in 209.